Hello, welcome. I'm Kyle Michael, and this is going to be a special video <laughs> on a um, topic that I have dealt with in my own life, and I see um, the same thing happening to many of the clients that I've worked with, uh, and, and with people in general. And <clears throat> so this. Uh, video is going to be about how to stop cursing yourself a curse now you, you know there is um, you know the thought of what is a curse right and a curse oftentimes um, when we think about the stories from our past from the uh, you know the myths and the folklore a curse was something you know m m done magically that would cause harm uh, energetic harm spiritual harm on another person right and um, magic the way I look at it which is um, you know how our thoughts and our way of being can in our actions as well can create the results that we desire you know so magic is you know you have an intention you have something that you desire and you create within your mind the way of being that can help you bring out what it is that you desire right and so a curse would be something that would get in the way of that you know if you're cursed you 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 can't move forward and so it's possible to curse people with your words that's why we call them curse words right because those words have power and think about how you curse yourself with the words that you speak to yourself within your mind it's very important that you stop cursing yourself and 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 it is the self-imposed curse that are the is the most uh, detrimental curse that can be placed upon someone for instance you can quote unquote curse someone else but if 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 uh, you hold no power over them if they you know if they don't allow your words and 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 and, and intentions to affect them, then your curse is useless. Right? And, however, uh, if if you allow someone to infiltrate your mind by their actions, by their words, by their energy, then their that their curse and their way of being can absolutely have power over you. However, if you have the strong mental sense, emotional sense, spiritual sense that your curse has no effect on me and, and with zero doubt in your mind, their curse will have no power. It won't. You, you have to believe it 100%. But where it gets tricky when it comes to self-imposed curses is because it is your own self-talk that's imposing and we're very much inclined to believe ourselves. And unfortunately, and if you don't catch yourself in this negative self-talk that you, that you, um, Place upon yourself if you don't catch it then then you'll be constantly cursing yourself and not even be aware a um, <clears throat> powerful assignment that I uh, ask many of my clients to do when I work with them is to take inventory of their negative self-talk to keep a uh, a record especially when we first start working together that first week um, after their session, I'll, I'll, 
I'll ask them to mark down, take a tally of how many times a negative uh, self-talk will arise in their mind to catch it. How many times do you think, oh, I can't do that, or oh, I'm not good enough, or they're better than me, or da 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 you know, any, all the plethora of little negative comments that can come, and they can be very insidious because sometimes they can be very, seem small, but, and while maybe on the surface they might be small, they're big enough to hold you back, even if it's a little bit, it's still holding you back. But to take inventory of how often it's come, and, and, and many will be incredibly surprised at how often it can come up. It could be, I mean, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times, 100 times in a day. Just a little negative thought. And then in session, we'll work on ways to be able to counteract those thoughts. So you can shift it. And with practice... Uh, then you know you'll be surprised at how you can can guide your mind to think differently. So so uh, those negative thoughts, those curses that you place on yourself, uh, can um, can be much weaker, and 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 you can uh, eliminate that in a sense. I mean, they might still show themselves, but you'll be in control to dismiss them, so they have no power over you. And so, it's incredibly important that, and, I, and, and something I hope that you can take away from this video, it's very important that you understand the importance of being aware of how you talk to yourself and how you maybe at times can discredit yourself you might think thoughts that make you weaker instead of empowering you. It's important that you have thoughts of encouragement and empowerment to yourself. But we can be very surprised, especially if we're not training our mind to uh, counteract negative thoughts, we'll be very surprised of how often negative thoughts can come up. And those negative thoughts that you have towards yourself are curses that you place upon yourself and those are the most powerful and the most uh, damaging curses that you can place on you. No one can curse you like you. Hands down. And so, working towards having the mind frame, the mindset and mind ability to catch any of those negative things, negative thoughts, and be able to counterbalance it. And with that in mind, realize that others can infiltrate your mind and cause you to curse you. That's a that's a, a, a powerful, uh, you know, curse someone could do. Say someone says something negative about you, or maybe even someone just gives you a certain look. I don't, you know, someone, someone communicates to you in some way that makes you question and doubt yourself. Well, in those moments, they're cursing you and you're allowing their curse to take forth, to, 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 to have power over you. All right? And so you, it's important for you to learn how to counteract these things. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that people's opinions don't ever matter. Or, you know, but... There's a difference between someone expressing a positive uh, criticism that can help you grow and someone just giving you some negativity that's going to hold you back. Those are different. And then also, it also depends on who that person is. Are they a person that, um, if they give you some criticism, those criticisms hold validity? Because, you know, there are people out there that say, I don't care what anyone thinks. But then we have to look at where they are in their life, right? And are they are they on a positive path? Are they really are they are are, are their relationships positive? Are they m moving forward in a healthy way? Because maybe in those cases, maybe they should listen to some other people <laughs> if they're not able to cognitively see where their own shortcomings in are. You know, because we do live in a very 
what I said, I say a narcissistic time. And so I, I believe that it's important that we um, are able to reflect on ourselves and realize that we are not perfect. We have play, uh, areas that we can grow. And, that, and sometimes advice from others can be valid. Um, and and I, I mention that because, uh, you know, it's important that we that if we're going to look at this topic holistically and 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 and, un, and treat ourselves wholly, then I want to add in that it's important that we are always self-reflective. But at the same time, you have to, and that's where you have to get go deep, and and and, and evaluate the information that you're giving, given, and is the communication that you are given is it communication that you can take any positivity from and and we can learn from everything given to us in some way right but being able to evaluate the information and if that information is is negative and going to hold you back then that is a that is a curse being placed on you and people can do that especially if you accept it for instance, if someone says, you can't do that, you're not good enough, or, or you know, you're stupid, or blah, 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 whatever, bull. And if you accept that truth in some way, or that information, not necessarily truth, but if you accept that and make it your truth, then that is a curse because you will live that way in some way, shape, or form. However, if someone points out in you know something within you that is holding you back and you somewhere can see validity in that it's not helpful for you to say ah I don't care what anyone thinks and 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 and, and then you go further holding yourself back more instead what you should do is maybe Maybe the information that was given doesn't make me feel good, but is there any validity to that? And if there is any validity to that, what can I do to counteract that so that for that piece of me is no longer and I can move forward more strong, more free, more powerful? It's about working to have a full understanding of oneself to the best of your ability because we're still limited in it because we're us. <laughs> and so sometimes it... it, it Sometimes it is important for us to get information from the outside because we can have our blinders on when we're stuck in our own head. You know, and, and I, so that's why I wanted to bring it up because it's 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 a two piece. Because our relationship with others are important, and we and, and we do get to know ourselves through other people. But that being said, we have to be aware of the information that other people are giving us, in that not allowing other people to curse us and not allowing ourselves to curse ourselves. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so, uh, there's, you know, that old uh, quote, you know, I think it's Stoic or maybe even Taoist, um, but in the lines of, and I'm paraphrasing, but it's something along the lines of be Beware, be aware of your thoughts, for your thoughts become your actions. No, be aware of your thoughts, for your thoughts become your words. Be aware of your words, for your words become your actions. Be aware of your actions, because your actions become your character. Be aware of your character, because your character becomes your destiny. And so, from that place, be aware of your thoughts. For your thoughts can curse you, or your thoughts can empower you. And um, along with that, from this video, take a tally of just how often negative thoughts come in. You might be surprised how often they come. And um, if you are interested in how to counterbalance those negative thoughts, then absolutely feel free to reach out to me. Uh, that's the you know some of the work I do with my clients using hypnotherapy, hypnosis, other powerful modalities to help counterbalance and 
help you use your mind in such a way to empower you and not curse you. Don't curse yourself, for that is the most dangerous curse one could ever deal with. Empower yourself so that your real magic, and I'm not talking about magic in some woo-woo way, you see that all over, you know, but I'm talking about real magic. Using the mind, the human spirit, to move forward in life in such a way so you can attain what it is that you desire. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to end that there. As I said, if you have any questions about hypnotherapy, coaching, uh, you can email me at kylemichael at magicminds.com um, Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel and share it. Share it to anyone that you feel like could uh, could benefit from this. And yeah, you know, we are at the beginning of a new year. And, you know, and there's a lot of <laughs> going on in this world. A lot of things that are out of our control, but what we do have control of is how we respond to the world and how we, um, how we speak to ourselves, right? And well, in the beginning, sometimes we don't even have much control of how we speak to ourselves, but it's about having an awareness, learning and practicing having an awareness of certain thoughts so you can begin to be in more control of how you speak to yourself. And that will change how you talk to yourself. And that will change the actions that you make. And that will change who you become in your character. And that will change the destiny that you live. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll end that there. Until uh, next time, live life and love life. All right? All right, peace.